Hey guys and gals, Vlad here with AVT Astro and today we are looking at the topic of cleaning the optics on your refracting telescope. For those of you that might not be familiar, I run a little astro blog called avt-astro.com and of course this YouTube channel, so if you're not subscribed, please do consider subscribing. Over the years, I've had the privilege of owning over 100 scopes, more accessories than I could count. And having said all that, let's get down to the topic of this video. Alrighty guys, now before we actually begin, you know, get into cleaning the optics, uh, let's kind of go over some of the tools that you probably will need. You know, depending on what kind of scope you're working on, you know, how like sensitive you are to the optics, uh, you know, like being damaged, you know, it could kind of vary. But basically what I'd kind of recommend having for sure is a bulb. So this way, before you even touch the objective, you can blow off any loose, you know, debris basically on the objective. Um, having a good optical brush, this is not like your paint brush, this is actually a camel hair uh, brush. Um, so uh, kind of to brush off any particulars that might be on the objective that you can't get with this is a good idea as well. And then when we actually get to actually clean the objective, you will need some kind of cleaning, optical cleaning solution, you know, I'll have a link to a good one in the video description. Um, and then also, I uh, actually didn't, I have a huge bag of cotton balls. Cotton balls we are gonna use a lot of. So just regular cotton balls that do not have perfume, dyes, or anything. I mean, most stores sell them or I'll have a link for, you know, if you wanna order them on Amazon. Uh, chem wipes, these guys here, these are not just napkins. These are specifically kind of more for cleaning stuff like optics. Um, I'll kind of touch more on these, you know, I kind of have mixed feelings about these, quite frankly. And then also, depending on what you're doing, you might also need some Q-tips. I prefer these ones that they usually sell in the cosmetics department. Don't be shy to go in there, it's okay. Uh, that are pointed like this. And I'll also have links on Amazon, uh, just in case you don't want to go into the cosmetics department in the store. Alrighty guys, so here it is. We're looking at the Astrophysics 130 GT uh, Promatic Refractor Objective. Uh, so I'm kind of, you know, like if this was me cleaning my first scope, honestly, I probably wouldn't be, you know, cleaning quite this premium of a scope. So find an old telescope to try it out on, you know, try to clean your binoculars or something. You know, I've done this, you know, probably like 50 times already on various scopes, like including SCTs. Cleaning the SCT corrector play isn't too terribly much uh, different than cleaning, um, you know, the lens on your uh, refractor. But anyway, to kind of get down to the procedure. You wanna start with doing as minimal contact to the objective as possible. So blowing air, not with compressed air, but with just a bulb like this is your first step. And hopefully it'll show up on video. You'll hopefully see just like dust. And you know, if you live like in the desert and it's sandy around, you definitely wanna do this for a while and try to get as much of that sand and dust and that type of deal as possible. Hopefully it'll show up on camera. I am seeing, you know, quite a bit of stuff just kind of flying off, okay? So that's pretty good. Okay, so I feel like the bulb kind of took off everything that it's going to take off. So, you know, we'll kind of, you know, go for, you know, kind of set that aside and go on to the next tool. So your next best friend is the optical brush. Uh, this, you know, it's not a necessary step. It just kind of depends on what's going on in your objective. Again, if you guys live like in the desert or something like that, be, you know, m way more careful because, um, you know, like think about it logically. If you start brushing around, you know, like with like sand particles on here, right? I mean, it's the same thing as, you know, because they'll, they'll kind of get lodged in the brush, right? And then it's the same thing as kind of like, you know, running sandpaper over your objective. So be very, you know, cautious of that. Uh, so typically, like, what I would do is, like, if I saw, like, some kind of piece of stuck hair or something like that, you know, maybe i try to lift it off with that. Honestly, guys, I really don't see anything, like, on my objective that the brush is going to, you know, help with. And, you know, so... Keep in mind, the less contact that you're doing, the better, okay? So I'm actually, you know, considering that this is a premium scope, I'm actually just gonna skip the brush. <laughs> All right, so especially on a premium scope, guys, the first thing that I wanna do is try to address any localized issues. I hope that these are, you know, two spots right here are kind of showing up. 
These are not like defects or anything like that in the optics. These are just, you know, two pieces of dew that formed. And for some reason, you know, they kind of left more spotting than, you know, other places. I've seen objectives here in the Northwest because, you know, it's really wet outside during the winter, especially that will be covered with all of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Q-tip. I'm going to put some of the cleaning solution on there. And then what I'm going to do is not like, you know, really rub them. What I'm going to do is just kind of get some solution on them to kind of just get them wet so that they're kind of starting to dissolve essentially okay now i'm using the other side of the q-tip and let's see here so now i'm doing a little bit of rubbing Okay, so this Q-tip is done. Okay, I've you know I've used both sides of it. You know, think about it. So I'm working on an eight thousand dollar telescope. Okay, wasting a couple of Q-tips is not my main concern here. <laughs> okay, so now kind of going back to the theory. So you you never want to like kind of rub across the surface. Okay. The more you rub across the surface until it's, you know, fairly clean, the better chance you have of, you know, like putting a line, nice long streak, essentially a scratch, you know, a fine scratch on the objective. So that's why I'm just working on just this little area here, because I know that these things are going to be the hardest to get out those two little spots. Okay, guys. I'm hoping that this is showing up on camera, but check that out. That little spot, the first one is gone, okay? So that's cool. I like it. Okay, so now I'm doing the other side of the Q-tip. And I'm going to work on the next spot. All right, guys. So I feel like those spots have been addressed enough to where, you know, when we do the actual clean of the entire objective, everything should come out pretty, you know, and uniformly. All righty, guys. So at this point, you know, um, this objective, it's not super dirty, but it's also not super clean. So I am kind of concerned about any particulars getting caught in my cotton when I start wiping and causing scratches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm kinda gonna do like a two stage, you know, cleaning. Again, $8,000 telescope, so I'm being extra cautious with this. You know, if, if you're kinda working on a pretty clean objective or if you're, you know, not as concerned about uh, your optics, you know, this particular stuff might not be, you know, super necessary. But on this, but on this premium scope, I am gonna do it. Okay, and I think I actually read this in the Takahashi manual for cleaning their optics. But anyway, what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to dip cotton balls and I'm going to speed up the video so you guys don't get bored to death. And then I'm not going to like, you know, rub or anything in any particular way. I'm essentially like, you know, just kind of uh, dampening the objective and hopefully picking up some of these particulates before I actually start wiping. So let's check out how this works. Alrighty guys, welcome back. So that kind of took a little bit of time, but as you can see, our objective is not looking too clean now, right? That's okay. That's part of the uh, process basically. What Most of what you're seeing guys right now is lint on the objective and some of the residue from the cleaning solution. Uh, that's totally normal. Uh, so right now what I feel like, like, I don't know if this is gonna show up on camera, but um, the objective already like as far as like, you know, like particulates on it looks pretty clean. So now I'm feeling like I feel pretty safe, uh, you know, like starting to wipe on the actual objective. All right, guys. Now I did want to point out as you, uh, or I don't know if it showed up on camera or not, but I, was, I wasn't I was just kept on using the same, you know, um, con ball, like basically every dip, I'd flip it over once, you know, I'd put a more clean solution on the other side and then just throw it away, okay? So each time you touch the objective, 
Again, cotton balls are cheap, objectives are really expensive. So use lots of cotton balls. You want a fresh piece of cotton touching this every single time. That way, again, if you catch you know, something that's gonna scratch the objective, worst case scenario, you're gonna have one little streak. You're not gonna have streaks all over your objective because you know, you're essentially keep on using this as a, essentially a piece of sandpaper, if you will. All right, so uh, there's, you know, you could go from the center out or, the, uh, the, uh, or from the outer to end, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I don't recommend going in circles, especially for your first wiping. I would go, you know, in streaks kind of like this. So you get, you know, down there and you just do a smooth streak. You do not need to push down. I'm basically using just the weight of the cotton ball. Um, again, so fresh piece of cotton touch in this. Boom. I'll actually, I think I'll probably rotate the scope so that way I'm kind of getting nice and even. Uh wipes guys also another crucial thing here um, especially when you're working around the edge of the lens do not use a lot of cleaning solution because it can uh, leak into essentially you know your objective especially if it's airspace this is a uh, oil space so it probably has a seal so i'm probably pretty safe on this one but just generally, guys, I do not recommend using, you know, like a ton of cleaning solution. There's really not too much of a point. I mean, you want to use a decent amount because, you know, you want it to kind of glide smoothly and clean well, but not a ton. All right, so we're about halfway done here. Come. So wipe in every single time with the fresh piece of cotton. All right, guys, now at this point, um, hopefully, again, this is showing up on camera, but the objective is pretty much clean. But if I just let this dry just like this, right, uh, what I'll do is I'll kind of leave, you know, some of the residue from the cleaning solution usually. Um, so, guys, you know, technically this won't really affect your view at all, but what I like to do is, you know, you basically put, like, at this point to kind of get it, you know, totally kind of super clean looking, is you put a little bit of your breath on there like this, right? Okay, so you put a little water vapor, and then you kind of, you know, essentially wipe the residue away. Now, again, I'm not, like, super rubbing this, you know, just very lightly, you know, basically using that little bit of, you know, water from my uh, breath to kind of, you know, essentially kind of clean off the rest of this residue. So I'm gonna do that to this whole objective and we'll kind of meet up after I'm done. Alrighty guys, so as you saw, we kind of cleaned up the objective here, you know, with that method that I showed you. And um, at this point, you know, I wanna kind of burn in chem wipes. So if you, you know, if you're super like allergic to dust, right? Uh, you know, cause uh, the um, cotton balls, they do live a little bit of length. You can, you know, take a chem wipe and kind of just wipe this off. I've done that before. Personally, guys, like I feel like chem wipes, they're just not as soft as cotton. I mean, they should be pretty safe to use right now. Um, you know, once the objective is clean. Overall, I do prefer cotton balls. Uh, what I'll actually do personally on the scope, because, you know, I'm not trying to put scratches on it or anything like that, is I'm just going to use my bulb and just kind of blow off what all dust will come off. And most of it should just blow all right off. Any remaining dust, guys, it is just, you know, basically superficial. I mean, it's not going to affect the view whatsoever of your scope. So basically, this is what I do, is just kind of blow this off. And that's it. For me, this is going to be the end of the cleaning procedure. Alrighty guys, so hopefully you guys found that brief demo of how to clean your refractor optics helpful. If you guys have any questions, comments, or anything like that, I'll leave them in the thing below. If you're not subscribed, please do consider subscribing. Please hit the like button as that does really help out the algorithm recognize that these videos are pretty decent. Thanks and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.